Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, The Brankyo Pod Lab. I just want to say I appreciate all your support in helping me bring Brankyo Pods into the spotlight. Thanks to all of y'all, I can spend so much time creating content for you and improving my content as I grow. If you want to learn more about Brankyo Pods, please check out some of the links in my description below and other videos on my channel. So, what is the Brankyopod Lab? What do I focus on? My channel is all about freshwater Brankyopods, which includes fairy shrimp, tadpole shrimp, and clam shrimp. But you might ask, what classifies as a Brankyopod? And to that I will say, Brankyopods are a group of freshwater crustaceans characterized by their gill-like structures and segmented bodies. They are known for their ability to thrive in temporary bodies of water and are commonly found in habitats like seasonal ponds and wetlands. These creatures are incredible. They live in so many unique habitats, but what they all have in common is living in seasonally aesthetic wetlands. These are basically temporary bodies of water that last from a few weeks to months. These habitats range from alkali dry lakes and playas in the arid desert which span over yards in length over shallow water, to woodland and femoral pools, which are isolated ponds with heavy organic matter and clear water. However, most of the time, these habitats are dry, so you wouldn't even realize you're standing in a gold mine of branchial pods. You might wonder, where do they all go when these wetland oases suddenly disappear? Each branchial pod is able to create a desiccant resistant egg, barely visible to the eye. These eggs remain dormant in the soil, tolerating harsh environments such as desert heat and blistering cold weather. It may last for years in the soil, awaiting for the land to flood with water once more. This amazing ability is called cryptobiosis. It is basically a state in which an organism's metabolic activities come to a reversible standstill, allowing it to survive extreme environmental conditions. This trait is attributed to the survival of branchiopods in such unpredictable habitats. Once the rain returns, the eggs hatch and the cycle begins again. The goal of my channel is to give a deeper understanding and appreciation of these organisms, because there's just so much to learn about them, and potentially undiscovered species. As a matter of fact, I helped identify a new species of fairy shrimp in the state of Texas. And I'm sure there's still more discoveries to make. On my channel, I'll be showcasing species that people have probably never seen before or have only seen in a textbook drawing, and providing close-up shots of these incredible creatures, giving little details and characteristics about each species. I will also be culturing each species and talking about their geographical range, since each place has certain cations and anions present that are necessary for each species to grow and thrive. I'm still researching, experimenting, and learning about the water chemistry for branchiopods, but over time, I will learn more and share with you all. I will also have content of me shrimping in the field, getting you close-ups of these habitats, showing you how diverse each habitat is, and sharing my experience with branchiopods. I plan on surveying many wetlands in much of Texas, to see what else I could find after identifying that new species. It really makes me wonder, what other things are we missing? Now, to really make you appreciate branchiopods, evolution tends to push them towards endemic species. Endemic species are basically species found in a specific geographic location nowhere else in the world. California is one of those places with multiple species of fair shrimp only found in one or a few localities. Sadly, around 90% of these habitats have been destroyed by human development and activities, resulting in many branchiopod species in California being threatened or endangered. Luckily, California has regulations and barriers to protect what remains, but this is not the case for all states. One species in particular that may be gone forever is the Florida fairy shrimp, Dexteria floridiana, which is only known from one pool that was destroyed for human development. Some speculate the species might occur in undeveloped regions of Florida, but for now, it's declared extinct. 
though, it's important to appreciate these habitats and protect them, since some brachiopod species are solely tied to one spot. Hopefully my channel will bring awareness to brachiopods, getting people more interested, and when you spot a plano puddle or a pond, give it a second look because there might be going on more than what's visible on the surface. Again, thank you for watching my content, please like this video, I appreciate all your support, and subscribe to my channel for more Brinkyopod content.